Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on how to find conic equations for dummies. This is part two of four. We are working on parabolas for this one, and we call the parabola half wit for obvious reasons because there's only half the curve, either up or down. Okay. Now, earlier segment, we covered the smart one, which actually the circles or ellipse or in that family, they're all together. The curve is connected. Or we have next segment, the rubble or the rebellious one. That's the hyperbolas. You see how it opens up. It looks like it's in uh, action or it's in the process of fighting a war. All right. So anyway. The parabolas are the ones we call half-wit. What's really important for parabolas, let's take a look over here, when you have a curve and it has a directrix and here's a focus. The distance between the focus and directrix is 2p. The curve is always tangential almost to the directrix. All right? So if the curve facing up and down, then directrix is below it. All right. A similar thing is still 2p here. Once you have this relationship, I want to give you a shortcut to remember how to write it. The curve, you are a curve, rest on linear with 4p. Okay, what I meant by that is when you have a curve look like that, it's resting on x, right x first, and then it's resting on 4p, and you put a y square. All right. And for this one, the curve is resting along y direction, and you put a 4p in front, and then this one is x squared. Okay, it's pretty easy. All right, and then let's take a look at our example here. Example one says the focus is at 0, 1, and directrix is y equal to minus 1. Here's your curve. Not a pretty one, but hopefully you get the point. And the distance between here is 2p. This one is 0, 1. 2p equal to 2. 0 to 0, 0. 0, 1 to 0, 0 is one unit. And then 0, 0 to y to minus 1, that's another unit. So we have two units, p equal to 1. Okay. Once we get a p equal to 1, let's see. Curve is rest on rest on y direction, okay, 4p in front of it, 4 times y, and the next variable is x squared. So simplify it as x squared equal to 4y. Alright, that's the first one. The second one, let's see, where we're given that the focus. Now actually before we do our second one, let's have a math break. I live in Arizona. We have this gorgeous desert willow tree outside my window, and the hummingbird just flew by and trying to suck in the pollen onto the humming, um, onto the desert willow. It's a gorgeous day outside, probably what 70, 80 degrees, a beautiful spring day. All right, okay, back to math. So, second question we were asked the focus is at 2 0. Let's write it at 2 0. It said it's open to the right and vertex at 0, 0. Obviously, directrix is then it's almost tangential to the curve. And the distance here is 2p. Or actually, more importantly for us here, we were given both uh, vertexes 0, 0. So then the p is equal to 2 because it's 2 distance. Once we have a p equal to 2, and then let's start the same process again. The curve is resting on x direction, so put an x in there, and then put a 4p in front, so it's 4 times 2, and then leave y squared. So in our end, the equation for this one is y squared equal to 8x. All right, that's how we handle the half word parabolas. Hope it's clear for you. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pam making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.